everybody, I'm Hannah, and on today's show, I had the chance to interview Saints head coach Sean Payton. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Hi, Coach Payton, welcome to the show. I'd like to start you off by asking you, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into coaching? Well, I went to school at Eastern Illinois University and I played football there and I've always had an interest in the sport and when I finished in 1986 I got into coaching in 1987 at San Diego State as a graduate assistant and that really is kind of a entry-level position that gets really just gets you started um, I served two years there as a graduate assistant and then I first got hired at Indiana State and that's where I met my wife uh, I've got two children I've got an 11 year old daughter Megan and an 8 year old son Connor and I'll be coaching now 21 years. And uh, it's something I've, I think I've always wanted to do. And it wasn't until I finished college that I had that first opportunity. OK, so I have a little test for you. Perfect. Since I'm out of school, I'm finished with tests. But I have one for you. And your first question is a multiple choice. Last Mango is A, part of a song title, B, a botched play call, C, something to do with a horse. D, bad luck in the produce section at the grocery. Or E, all of the above. I'm going to say all of the above. I think uh, definitely E. Could you tell me why? Well, I know it's a botch play call because we named a play at the Pro Bowl, uh, the last mango special, and, uh, and it was an interception. Uh, I don't think I'd ever want to buy the last mango at the produce section if it truly was the last one. It, uh, it probably wasn't fresh. Um, there is a racing stable called Last Mango Racing Stables. Um, and what was the other one? Part of a song title. It is part of a song title, so I definitely think E. Okay. So you know all the X's and O's. Can you tell us what you know about horse racing? I don't know a lot about horse racing. I know a little bit. I know that... Um, if you ever decide to own horses, that you, the slow ones have to eat too. And so it can be kind of expensive. But uh, I, get, I get interested when they're racing on the main races, the Kentucky Derby or the Preakness. Um, we've had fun owning our horse, Pulaski County, now for a little more than half a year. Uh, but I'm not an expert, and, and uh, I know enough to... Uh, be careful when I bet on horses. <laughs> Could you tell us the name of Last Mango's horse and where it is right now? It's Pulaski County, and I believe it's in Louisville, Kentucky still. How has he done? He's done pretty well. He uh, won his last race. Uh, he, he was uh, a little bit of an underdog. Uh, before that, uh, on Friday, the day before the Derby, he finished third in a race that he clearly was the underdog. Um, I think he's outperformed a lot of our expectations. Oh, that's very good. Are there any similarities between horse racing and football? I think it's very competitive. Um, I think there's probably uh, the same type of reward or the good feeling when you win. Um, and, and I think that uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you could be, uh, you could keep, probably get into trouble and, and it probably would hurt your chances of winning. But definitely it's competitive. All right, can we talk a little bit about football now? So is the team, you think, ready to get into that NFC championship and maybe beyond this season? I think so. I think we've had a good offseason. Um, training camp will start in July, and, and uh, I think uh, everyone's excited about the 08 season. Um, I think everyone understands the challenge of, of getting back to the NFC championship game and, and then going on to the Super Bowl. but. Uh, at the same time, I think they're ready for that challenge and they're excited about it. That's very good. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your foundation? We started a foundation, uh, Peyton's Play It Forward Foundation, oh, a month and a half, two months ago. And really the goal is to help families, help children, and help the community here of New Orleans and Louisiana. Um, my wife and I uh, have lived here now. We're going on our third year and it's a great opportunity for us to give back to a community that's given so much to us. Do you like living here? We do. We like living here a lot. And my last question, is it nice to be interviewed by a kid and not the media? 
it's very nice. It's very refreshing, and especially when the questions are well thought out, um, it's much nicer. I'll say that. <laughs>